Well, welcome everybody to the Global Summit uh, 2013, and it all does start right about now. It starts with the 75,000 of us that are gathered right now all over the United States, 8,000 people right here on the Willow campus, and then the rest in hundreds of venues all over America. Hang on, I remember the first time I ever met Pastor Bill, he said two things to me. He said, study the art of listening, and um, I don't remember what else he said, but that first one was like, that was, that was pretty cool, man. God gave us an innate desire to love others, and if we have a job that has nothing of that in it, we can't love our work. The bottom line is we can't give people what we don't have. We cannot give help when we can't ask for it. Just don't be afraid. Just be you. Live a life worthy of the calling you've received. I think one of the ways to make a group of human beings more powerful as a leader is to constantly show them uh, perpetual optimism. No matter how bad things are, we're going to fix it. In business, in what we do in television and film, it's lots of no's. All I hear is N-O, next opportunity. I do not <laughs> let it drag me down. You want to change the world? Learn how to change behavior. You know, what could you do to lean into being a little bit more of a multiplier? I wonder what would happen if I asked and let other people find the answers. We thought innovation is about value for money. I say innovation is about value for many. The first must be last. It's not about greatness, it's about serving others. Do not bail on your mission. So many of God's great rewards for leaders are reserved for late in the race. That as every opportunity comes your way, you never do ministry alone. You always have budding leaders around you. What do you mean you're not good enough? You are my workmanship, he says. And I created you with that gift of leadership to put you right where you are.